In this video, we're going over hidden features on the Samsung Galaxy A50. Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Today we're going to show you just a few hidden features on the A50. The first one is going to be how to launch the camera from any screen. So there's a cool feature built in the phone where hitting the power button twice will automatically launch the camera no matter where you are. Even if the screen is turned off, it will turn on the phone and it will automatically take it to the camera. So screen is off, hit it twice, turns it on, it goes right to the camera. Maybe the phone is on and maybe we're in another app. You could be, for example, in Google Play and you're doing something and something photo worthy comes up, hit that power button twice, and we're right at the camera. So that's called the quick launch camera shortcut. Now our next hidden feature, we're gonna show you how to use two apps at one time. Now to make this work, you want to open up each app first. So I'm gonna open YouTube and then go home. And then I'm gonna open up Google Chrome, go home. Now I'm gonna hit the menu button at the bottom and the app that I want to be at the top, I'm gonna to find that app first and tap on the icon at the top of the screen and tap open in split screen view. And then find the other app that I want to be at the bottom, which is Google uh, Chrome. Now I can open up a YouTube video here. Let me turn the volume down. Let's find one of our amazing videos. Let's say we have our portal video playing and we're down here on Google trying to look up something maybe we saw in the video. So I can be here, type in Yahoo News. And this is a really cool way to just take advantage of that big screen. I can search comfortably down here and look up things on Yahoo while my video is playing. I can also turn this in the landscape position as well and it will rotate with you, still have the video playing and still allow me to use Chrome. A lot of people like to have like their text messages open while they're watching a video or they'll have uh, Google on one side and notes on the other and they'll be looking up things for school. So just a great way to utilize that large screen again. When you're all done in the middle of the screen, there's a little gray bar. It's kind of hard to see from here, but Put your finger there and just drag it to the right and that will take you out of the full screen or uh, take you back to full screen, excuse me. And that's it. Now, another thing I wanna show you, this is another cool way to multitask on the phone. It's called a uh, pop-up view or pop-out view. So let's say you're texting someone back and forth Maybe you're sort of texting them casually on and off. Um, if I, so I opened up the app already and I went home and go to menu. Now on, on messages, I'm gonna tap on the icon at the top and tap right under split screen view. I'm gonna tap open in pop-up view. And in pop-up view, it'll open up that app in a smaller pop-out screen that I can interact with and I can minimize. So I can start a new message here and you know, type, type, type. And then I can also go to the upper right corner and on the second option, if I tap on that, it will keep it open in a pop-up screen. So I can just have that there while I'm doing other things on the phone. Maybe you're on Google and you're trying to look up, you know, a new restaurant or movie times. Once you find the times, you can simply tap on that and you can add it in. And when you're done, minimize it again and continue your search. So it's a great way to, again, kind of work that multitasking. So now you can use this feature with many different apps, but you can't use it with every app. So the way you can check is really easy. Open the app, close it, go to menu, 
and same thing just tap on the icon and see if you see open in pop-up view if you don't see that it means that the app is not compatible with that feature so like the camera oh let's see oh you can do it with camera so you used to not be able to do it with camera that's pretty cool um i do know there are some apps that this is not supported in but for the majority of the stock apps you will be able to use it so just fyi now with our next tip we're going to show you how to really customize your phone and all you're going to do is just hold down on the home screen and at the bottom of the screen you'll see themes this is a shortcut to the galaxy theme store where you'll find a lot of really cool resources so you'll find wallpapers just standalone wallpapers for the phone some free some paid you'll find all the stock wallpapers right here there's a shortcut to the gallery if you want to take a picture that is your own picture and make it the wallpaper you can just tap here and then it will let you use one of your pictures as um, as your wallpaper aside from that we can go to themes themes are cool because they're wallpapers and they're also they change other aspects of your phone so they'll change the icons on the phone and they'll change the color of all your menus so that's pretty cool and then you have some other options here you can change the type of icons you have for your apps for your stock apps and then here we have always on display options too to learn more about the always on display check out our other video the samsung galaxy a50 tips and tricks we show you how to use the always on display and this goes great with it it'll show you how to customize it if you don't know what the always on display is it's when you turn the screen off it's what makes the clock pop up on the screen once it dims now we have it on this special setting here but you can change it and you can have a large clock here you can have a little shortcut to your calendar all kind of cool things you can adjust in the settings again check out the a50 tips and tricks we go over it in full detail in that video all right so that is the theme store now the next thing we want to show you is what's called smart stay and now with smart stay you can basically set up your screen so that the screen will always stay on as long as your eyes are locked on the screen so to turn this on we're going to go to settings so swipe down go to the settings wheel again go to advanced features and in here you'll have a list of uh, some cool options here actually under motions and gestures you have the option called smart stay which it basically says keep the screen on while you're looking at it now it's going to use the sensor in the front to gauge if it can see your eyes if it can see your eyes the screen will stay on without you having to touch the screen this works great for people who like to read on their phone read articles or books you won't have to touch the screen every couple of seconds to keep it on this will just keep it on as long as your eyes are locked on the screen and that is the smart stay feature Now our last tip is going to be showing you how to hide apps on the phone. To set up hiding an app, you're going to need to go to the main screen and hold down the screen. In the bottom right corner, click on home screen settings and go to hide apps. It'll then give you a list of every single app that's on the phone. Let's say you don't want Facebook to be visible. You can tap on Facebook, hit apply go home and now Facebook is totally gone if I swipe up you won't find it in the menu there's no way to access it but when you're ready to access it it's really easy you're gonna follow that same process hold the home screen bottom right click on home screen settings go to hide apps and just simply find Facebook and you're gonna hit there's a little circle with a little dash in it that will take it off of the hidden list hit apply and if we go home and swipe up, Facebook is back in our app section. So that's a really easy way to hide apps in the event that you have things that you don't want people to see or have access to. You can just simply hide it before you allow them to see the phone. 
So this has been hidden features on the Samsung Galaxy A50. Just wanted to show you guys a few cool things you can do with the phone that are not always very visible and the average person doesn't know about them. So leave us a comment down below. Let us know which feature was your favorite or the most helpful. We always love to hear your feedback. Hit that like button, favorite, and share. Take care, and as always, have a good one.